Wiggy time on the fly. What's up, everybody? Sean Wiggins back here. Ref Hansen, the whole reffing show. Guy who drove out Batista at WrestleMania at MetLife. This is March 8th, 2003. RF video. Holla at them. Follow them. Like them. Subscribe. Comment. Go to their website. Buy all their stuff. If you want it, they probably got it. Shoot interviews. ECW fan cam shows, uh, tons of merchandise, shirts, pins, buttons, bumper stickers, probably rain gear. They got it all. Rob Finkelstein has it all. I RF video. How at your boy, Doug Gentry. This is March 8th, 2003, USA Pro Wrestling. And the reason I wanted to show this match is the guy you see right there is the Amazing Red. I'm sure you've heard of his name before. He's worked in TNA. He's probably most famous for that. There he is, wrestling one-on-one -on -one deranged. Now, there's a little bit of backstory to this match. They had a little bit of heat, real-life heat. Red and deranged. It was probably all on deranged, not on red. Red is one of the quietest people I've probably ever met. I'm sure he's got a dark side. We all have a dark side. But red and deranged, for the most part, didn't like each other. Deranged was dating a girl named Valentina. Uh, before she got passed around like a uh, blunt at a Fog Hat concert in the 70s. Um, Valentina, if you're listening, what's up? I don't dislike you. I'm just saying it's kind of the way it was. Uh, Red and Deranged. Uh, the, the whole backstory was that Red slept with Valentina while she was dating Deranged. He said, she said, she said, he said, she said, and he said... So forever, they didn't really wrestle each other. This is now March 8th, 2003. They've both been in the professional wrestling, on the independent wrestling circuit for a few years by this point. And to my knowledge, it's the first time they ever locked up. Two minutes in, they haven't touched. I dare them. But um, <clears throat> enough of that backstory about the girl. Valentina would go on to you know, be on the Indies. I think she had a cup of coffee in TNA. And I think she did a bunch of stuff in Mexico. But, I mean... American wrestling fans, for the most part, don't follow Mexican wrestling. Some do. I mean, the obscure fan does. The tape trader does. And if you're going to tape trade, why not go to rfvideo.com? Uh, they got it all. I'm telling you, they got it all. I've looked for stuff. Hey, Rob, you got this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, how? How? How do you have that? But he does. Anyway, uh, the tape traders might follow Mexican wrestling. The one thing I wanted to check out was Degeneration Mix. That was Xbox fed down there. But anyway, I'm getting away from myself. Red and Deranged. Deranged trained by most for the most part by Homicide. Um, Red trained for the most part by Mikey Whipwreck. And they lock up and actually do some chain wrestling. Now, again, I haven't watched this match since I refed it seven to 18 years ago now. So I don't know what the hell they did. I'm sure they flew around. Deranged was looked at as just like, see, look how acrobatic the dude is. Hanson, I dare you to get out of the way of the camera, you goof. Actually, I would never get out of the way of the handheld camera. See, I keep walking in front of the handheld. I would try my best to get out of the way of the hard camera, not the handheld. So for you referees out there on the independent circuit, just trying out. If the handheld cameraman is giving you ish, tell him, suck a big fat schmuggle. <clears throat> you got to get out of the way of the hard cam. Nice back and forth. <clears throat> that standoff is probably half a shoot. Um, But yeah, I mean, Derange was athletically... Just as talented as Red. Just Red could do a few more things. Red had, had an X Factor. Deranged didn't. Uh, Red just looked different than everybody else in the ring. It's hard to explain that. Like, uh, and I'm not saying this is the 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 barrier, the 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 mark. <clears throat> but Red versus Loki is ten times the match. Deranged versus Loki is, and I can't explain to you why. I mean, athletically, they're both going to be fantastic. Again, nice standoff. Nice, like, kind of stalemate by those two. But, <clears throat> like, just uh, Red kind of knew. I guess when you're trained by Mikey Whipwreck, you pick up, you know, just a couple things. I mean, Mikey was in locker rooms with Cactus Jack and Raven and a whole host of others. Mikey's been around since, what, 94, maybe? I mean, wrestled Steve Austin and beat Steve Austin <laughs> before he was stone cold. Surprised he doesn't brag about that more. Mikey, if you're out there, I miss you. I love you. I haven't seen you in forever. Uh, Red now trying to exchange the olive branch of friendship. Is Derange going to give it to him? Derange, I think, is saying, no, fuck this guy. I'm not, no, 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 no. Oh, oh my God, I was right. I swear to God, that was a guess. Derange now setting the pace here. And I think this, this is where the match is going to start to take off. We've seen enough catches, catch can. 
deranged trying to get this crowd enticed. And oh, by the way, we were at the Queens, New York Madhouse of Extreme. That's where USA Pro Wrestling would run a lot of their shows, as would ICW Impact Championship Wrestling, who I think still runs today, just no one knows about it. Ran by a guy named Jack Sabbath. And for those listening, now we're seeing the collar and elbow tie up. <clears throat> I mean, Jack's a goof. He you know, makes stuff up. He cancels shows for no good reason. But he uh, he's a better guy than people give him credit for. Um, I like him. I don't hate him. I, I used to have a problem with him, but not really. Nice collar and elbow tie up that they've never broken up. Uh, shades of Steve Regal here. William Regal would do stuff like this where he'd hold that collar and elbow and just, just hold it. Um, nice. And again here, this is early 2000s, 2003. Everybody wore camo. Legit, everybody had some sort of camouflage on. I don't get it. Uh, I, I almost wanted to start refereeing in camo by this point. Um, and this is about, I'd say, 10 o'clock that night. This is probably the 12th, 13th match of the night. I would referee the entire show. A lot of other referees would get hot at me for it. They can kiss my ass. I did this financially for me. I was very selfish. This is nice athletic maneuver by Red and Derange there. That's the 11th Mahi Straw Cradle. Two count only. Red now sweeps the leg. One, two. Coop, oh, yeah, good luck calling this one. There, Derange goes for it. Gets a smack to the mush. Great back and forth wrestling here. And again, I've said this about the SAT uh, check out the SAT versus the Dead Presidents on my channel. Also, you can see it on rfvideo.com. I'm sure they have it somewhere. Probably where I got it from. I did get it from there. Anyway, um, the SAT and Red, I use them as the prime examples. If there was an AEW back then, these guys would have been signed to it. I mean, this is 2003. So, you know, WCW and ECW have been dead for two years. Um, the only thing going in... Uh, in 2003, at this point, is WWE, uh, Ring of Honor is a baby at this point. It's barely there. I was getting 50 bucks a show. There so were a lot of us. And NWA, TNA. I don't even think they were just TNA yet. So there wasn't a lot going on. But imagine if there was an all elite wrestling there. And that's why, like Raven has always said, you, you, you just you, you need a second big company. Or else the guys are screwed. Like wrestling's a little different now. You're not going to get the same TV ratings you did during the Monday Night Wars. Uh, oh, nice maneuver. As as everyone knew, the Wednesday... See, uh, I, you're, we're eight minutes in, so that's stare at the crowd. I mean, he, he should show a little bit of tiredness or a little bit of fatigue. Ooh, nice and Seguri at Red Barely Sold. And that could be a knock on Red. There's some things he could have sold more, but there's some things that he sold just like that no one else could. I'd love to see a Red versus Rey Mysterio Jr. both in their prime. There's like, oh, I'd love to see Jordan. And, oh, oh, that's where he would use me to leap off the ropes and to springboard off of my back. And for the most part, I did well. Uh, Duran just hit the top rope. So I was awesome and he was the, the shizzles. Um, I, I bet I could have posted more. I checked on him anyway. He was fine. I don't know who that is out there checking him too. Atlas Security was all over the place here. <clears throat> uh, what else? But USA Pro, I mean, and another thing about USA Pro, they would have tag matches, legends matches, ticket seller matches, hardcore matches, lightweight matches, strong style matches. They had everything you could want. The shows would be five, six hours long, but you'd get every single type of match you could possibly want, which is good and bad. It's overkill in a town, but at the same point, it's like, man, did you see that show? They had literally had everything. So there's good and bad to that. I think psychology-wise, of course, not the best. Um, but whatever. And again, Durant, I mean, these guys are kind of timing these moves. I'm sure if I brought in a Raven or an Al Snow to break this down, or Joey Matthews, they'd have, they could have already pointed 10 things wrong with it. I could have pointed a couple things wrong with it. But these two were, you know, light heavyweights. They were brand new at this time. Red, I think, was only wrestling two years. Two, maybe even three and Derange was only wrestling a couple years himself as well. More chops in the corner. Ten minutes in, the guys are chopping each other. Derange whips right off. I haven't seen this. Ah, damn it. Of course I had to be in the way there. But, again, I would try to get out of the way of the hard camera. So this is the, this is the handheld footage. Uh, I think Harrington Talents. And if Harrington Talents is out there, 
and they ever see this, you have a million shows I would like to pick from you and grab and see because I'm missing so much of my footage that I reffed for it that I still uh, you know, have never seen. Red, a display of power. Does he go for the F5? Holy shit, he went for the F5. <laughs> Remember, at this time, Brock Lesnar was, uh, what is this, March 2003. He was going to wrestle for the WWE Championship that year at WrestleMania against Kurt Angle. I mean, a lot of people didn't think that match would happen. Brock versus Benoit was the backup. Red now, I don't know. He, he uh, Does he have enough to continue this match after dropping that F5 on deranged? He would whip that out every now and again. I think mostly to pop the guys in the back. Red, nice knee. I don't know if that was a shoot or not. One, two, two count only. I don't know the finish of this match. I'm going to guess Red wins. That's a guess. Or, no, Derange beats him with his foot on his chest. I got a lot of snickers from the boys watching this one. Victim kicks to the back. I hate that move. I would never take it. Oh, good Lord. One, two, three. No, two. Nice maneuver by Red. And for somehow, some way, all these minutes in, Red has kept his beanie and his headband on. Whenever I'd come to the back at the end of a USA Pro show or any show for that matter, I'd have two bandanas, a beanie, a do-rag. All this stuff would be in my pocket. I'd run, and sometimes I'd have a knee pad or an elbow pad if a guy went to rip it off and go for clothes. A nice standing souple. Shades of Ric Flair. Shades of a lot of guys, but nice maneuver here. Nice power display by Red. Red probably popping that he got to do this because it's not often that he'd get to do power moves. Red was always the little guy. He had to sell more. He had to do... He had to work 10 times harder than a regular sized guy, so he'd always be selling. And it was at this point, I would love to find one and put it up here for you guys to see. Red versus Kid Cash was my favorite red match, I, I, I want to say. Kid Cash used to beat him up, bully him a little bit, some guys would say, but Kid Cash had it right. He used to beat Red's ass, and it would get Red over so much more. Because the people would be like, come on, Red, get up, beat his ass. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You would want Red to come back and win. Red whips Derange in. Derange gives him a mouthful of foot. See, this is a really good match. I'm sure like if, you know, to, oh, went for a tornado DDT, didn't quite work out. Goes for a pin. One, two. Again, I have no clue what the finish is here. Cameraman, I dare you to keep the camera steady. I'm talking to me, not you, Doug Gentry, who's probably filming this. And he's USA Pro Show. a guy named Doug Gentry who will be filming this for Ring of Honor, for Ring of Honor, for RF Video. And me and Doug would go back and forth and make faces. We would have conversations. We'd have our own matches during this show. It was a lot of fun. Oh, these kicks are ridiculous. See, if you if a guy did that to me and didn't call it, I'd take the first one, roll out of the ring, and just sell for an hour. Because there's, there's, no, there's no work in that at all. It's called the uh, victim kick, is what I keep hearing. Derange <laughs> working red with chops. Ah, oh, I'm sure that was had a little bit behind it. Yeah, some of these are probably live rounds. Some of these forearms, I would guess. Again, I'm in the right spot. The handheld guy's got to work around me. They're going at it here. Some of these, they're definitely uh, not worked. Uh, Durant, see, he, he went to kick him in the bread basket. He might have got his pills. If Jim Cornette was here, he'd say, I I've taken pills bigger than you, too. Nice shot of Ref Hansen's ass there. Derange whipped him off. Red, god damn it, move. See, guys, I would need the, the cameraman in this position to move. Derange goes for whatever that was. Red ducks it, ducks of a close. A lot of reversals, a lot of this, that, and the third. Nice. Derange with an inside out tope. Tope? Inside out moonsault? Inside out, whatever you want to call that. Again, 15 minutes in here. I mean, the psychology could be better, but the action is good. You know, I mean, it's not... I mean, these two guys are just athletically... Uh, 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 they, they got a lot behind it. But I'd still rather watch this match than a match like these two guys today. I mean, I you watch a match now. I mean, this is actually slow compared to some matches now. I do, and yes, I do. I'm, once in a while, I'll put on a light heavyweight match of two guys today, and I'm just like, that... It actually made more sense when guys didn't make sense. So as Jim Cornette was told by Ole Anderson, 
he would move, Jim Cornette would, would move up the ladder on, on his, uh, on his list. Not because Cornette did anything, but so many other dumb fucks showed up that he just slid up and was smarter than them. I said that all backwards, but what's that? no, direct, oh, does he go, no, ah! <laughs> oh, beautiful. That might've been the finish. I don't even know what the hell to call it. Red with the cover, two, go. Oh! The range slipped out the back door with nice falsy. The range had enough presence of mind to kick out after. I forget what Red called that. That's not the code Red. It's a phenomenal move. I mean, these guys were innovative at this time. They really were. And in this area, anyway. The SATs and Red were just all over the independence, especially the Philly, New York market. And Philadelphia was a real hotbed here. You had CZW, Ring of Honor was there, 3PW. I mean, you had a whole host of guys. But USA Pro, Jersey All Pro, I mean, Northeast Wrestling was still around at this point. So New York and New Jersey, there were no slouches, you know what I mean? Red now that drops the range, he's got him set up. What's he going to go for? Oh, an elbow from the top. Uh, he just just a, just a regular elbow. I'm surprised he didn't go for a, for uh, his 680 or whatever it was. Two count only. The rain slides out the back door. We are oh, oh, north of 15 minutes. We're at 16 minutes. I'm gone. I'm winded. I probably haven't had any water. I'm two and a half hours into refing this show. There's another two hours left. See, all you refs out there that back then who knew me, yeah, I did this. I did this selfishly for the money and also to learn. There were plenty of shows around back then that I couldn't get on because other guys were selfish. But no, 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 I'm the dick because I wanted to rep this whole thing. I hate wrestling people. Not these two guys. Red Derange, I love you. Well, Derange, man, yeah, no, I do. Um, now what's Red? He's picking Derange up. Derange is out cold. And the camera cuts out. <laughs> that was not me. That's RF. Probably changing the battery. Is Derange going to use Red's own move on him? No. Hip toss. No, I mean arm drag. Deranged. They they meet in the middle. Meeting of the minds. No. Wheelbarrow. Deranged. Red. Lifts him up. Hara ra 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 Two. Three. No. Two. Nice action by these two guys, man. Again, it could be pieced together a little better. If they, man, and keep in mind, if you're a vet watching this saying, God, these two guys are, yeah, this move should have been done here. And you should have did this here. Should have done that there. This is their second year in. This night, I don't even think Red touched TNA yet. Both of the guys are in Ring of Honor at this point, but I don't think either one has touched uh, TNA. I don't think the range ever did. Red and the SAT would join TNA, I believe, later that year. Red had a long run with them, too. Red eventually got his body looking sweet and ditched the, the, the top. He'd wrestle shirtless. Two! No! power bomb, but it wasn't enough to keep the range down. The range has too much fight. The range said, fudge you, Red. I'm not putting you over because you slept with my girlfriend. I wonder how many fans knew about that at that time. Red now trying to get the people behind him. Both of these guys are pretty much baby faces here in New York, in New York at this time. They're both loved by the crowd. Red comes from the, I mean, it was the SATs against the DHS because the range was an unofficial member of the hit squad. The back click. Back then it was Mafia, Monster Mac, Low Key, Homicide, Deranged, Ghost Shadow. They were kind of like their own click. They didn't always hang together. Ghost Shadow would always go back to his planet after the show. Deranged, say, <laughs> oh, he just laughed at himself. Beautiful tornado DDT. That was gorgeous. That was excellent. Man, I hope, uh, I hope you fans have stuck with this the whole time. I hope you're enjoying this. Deranged, going for a tornado. Yeah, he got stopped. Red now, what's he going to do here? And this building, too, even though this is March, early March 2003, it was hot in this building. I mean, these, this building just got super hot. It was balls hot. You'd be sweating Crisco in your boxers uh, in, in the summer months. It was so freaking hot. I love, balls Mahoney would wrestle shirtless sometimes in the summer. Yeah, picture that. Beautiful moonsault. 20 minutes into the match, just a perfect moonsault off the top rope. I couldn't do it at full with full energy. Deranged, oh, the backwards Herakarana, beautiful frickin' maneuver. Both guys are down. Deranged has a presence of mind to cover him. Is it enough? It's not. It's not. How many finishers are they gonna hit on each other before one of them's down for the count? I'm letting RF know, hey, it's two. 
Oh my goodness, I'm just gassed calling this. And remember, I was just coming from my job. I was working at Lynn's Nissan. If you're ever gonna buy a car, don't buy it from Lynn's Nissan. I think they're still in business. So I was, I woke up at probably 6.30, 7 a.m. that morning. And it's about 10 at night. I've been on my feet. I probably had a Hanson's energy drink on my way to the show. Oh, uh, brutal. Red blatantly called the spot to me that I just relayed the deranged. Uh, referees watching this, new referees watching this, hide it better than I just did. Um, I should have had presence of mind that RF was filming. But, I mean, for the most part, the people didn't know. But this is 2021 now. Everybody knows everything. Crap's all over YouTube, especially my channel now. Durant drips the shirt off. He's going to the top rope. He wants to finish this once and for all. But no, Red, just like he called to Ref Hansen seconds before, leaps up and kicks him right in the head on the top rope. God, I think I need some Gatorade to finish calling this one. Give me another five hour. Red picks picks up the range. Stand, it's superplex on the top. Oh, brain buster from the top. Good Lord, Deranged sold the balls off of it too. And that over-the-top selling really didn't, well, I'm sure it happened before, but Shawn Michaels really, really is one that made, oh, and there it is, the standing moon saw this isn't enough. No, oh, Deranged kicks out. Standing moon saw no one hit it sweeter than red. And what the hell? Dixie, get the hell out of here. Why, what is Dixie doing coming down to the ring? Oh, he's just cheering on his boy deranged. Okay, all right. Ref Hansen is in the ring. Now, this is me 18 years earlier, but you know, I'm going to trust that Dixie's not going to interject himself into this contest. Red going for the code red, but he can't quite negotiate it. Dixie just hits him with a chair. I was over there talking to a fan. I didn't know what was going on. I'm way out of position. Oh, and range with the driver. Two, three, that's it. That son of a bitch, Dixie. See, if RF video would have showed me that angle right there and then, I would have seen it and I would have changed it and I would have given this victory to the amazing red by a disqualification and Dixie would have been fined $500 by the USA Pro Officials and he never would have been able to pay that off because he probably didn't make 500 bucks total in 2003. I know because I got paid the same amount as him. Great match by those two. Uh, we're going to have to wrap this up. We're 23 minutes in. For Sean Wiggins, I'm Sean Wiggins saying I hope you enjoyed that one and stuck with me. Red and Derange were amazing athletes. I wish they had a, a, a better opportunity to show you and I wish the finish was a little cleaner. But... That's, I hope you enjoyed that one for 2003. For Sean Biggins, I'm Sean Biggins. As always, keep in touch with yourselves. Signing off.